permit me, Larry Laffer, VIP. Larry, you missed Aaron's show. She's a total babe, right? Rocks the pole the way I rock the mic. I'd sure love to meet her. Who cares about Aaron? As long as we can get down with one another. Don't be like that, Larry. I mean, if Aaron and I hit it off, you might just get to kill two birds with one stone. Wait a minute. You mean... I want to have a threesome. And if you have to ask if you're one of the three, then the answer is no. Oh, I'm in. Who knows, Larry? Maybe this time with Aaron and me will be the best night of your life. <laughs> Looks like they use a lot of lube here. My hands don't need to be lubed. At least not yet. Nice, Tuft. But I missed her show. Darn. Hey, Aaron. How was your show? Unbelievably good. Everyone was completely delighted. I'm sure it was your show. You think so? I had the feeling that they were more fascinated by the lyricism. There's no way my breast could ever compete with such a profound medieval lyric. Oh, I don't know. They are pretty fine. Want to meet in the dark room later? I don't know. I hardly know anybody here. Oh, don't worry. I'll introduce you to someone. I'd really like to know whom I'm dealing with. Here, there's no webcam between me and the people. The person I'd like to get to know better is Lemma. I just love the way she works it. So self-assured. And the way she moves. Maybe I can arrange something. If you want, I could introduce you to Lemma. Oh, that'd be awesome. I really want to get to know her better, even a little more personally. Wait. I'll introduce you. How long have you been playing music? I just grabbed my dad's guitar one day and started playing. For me, there's nothing better than screaming guitars. You've been living in New Lost Wages long, Aaron? No, not that long. I don't know many people here yet. We can fix that. <laughs> the two of them are chatting so intensely that I'd be better off not interrupting. That'd be great. The city can be pretty intimidating when you first get here. You probably know the best places by now. You can bet on that. At any rate, it's a real pleasure to meet you, Lemma. Nice to meet you too, Aaron. I think you and I could go back to the dark room and have some more fun. Join us there in a bit, Larry. Like so many things in life, not exactly practical, but sexy. I can't reach it, and even if I did, I'd never get the bra off. Those things are so needlessly complicated. I'm searching the internet for bra open can't reach. I found a tutorial video. Bra telekinesis for dummies. Would you like to see it? Uh, sure. Ah, so that's how it works. And then just... Okay, I think I got it. Watch and learn. Ha! <laughs> it worked! This skill is going to prove very useful. I really earned this. Talk about a set of boulders. I can't reach the really interesting parts. Too bad. Uh, 
Hello? Larry? 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 Larry. Uh, I'll find my way around. That feels moist. Um, really moist. Mmm. Tastes like iron. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty deep. Hello? Larry, over here, honey. I've got everything ready. Huh. It's starting to get really hairy in here. Oh, so soft. <laughs> oh, it's a dead animal. Wait, it's still alive. <laughs> Well, that was lucky. Whoa, it bit my little admiral. Ah, what a disaster. Oh, the bite is swollen. Good thing. Why is my uh, mouth foaming like this? Something smells fishy. Yeah, that's definitely a fish. Anyone missing their fish? Larry. Oh, stop playing games. I'm ready for you. Hey, I know you from somewhere. Dad? Larry, I am your father, not... Lefty? I didn't know you went to parties like this. Aren't you against this hip new shit? Absolutely. But here, I can always find fresh ingredients for my brewing experiments. Wait a minute. Uh, you mean you... Uh, of course. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> uh, that's my cue. See you later. <laughs> that sounds like a deep fryer, but who would put something like that in the dark room? Oh, who put something like that in the dark room? Larry? I want you, Larry. Ah, oh, give it to me, Larry. Aaron? Lemma? Is that you? Oh. <laughs> yeah, right there. Ooh. Yeah, right there, baby, yeah. You're making me so wet. I'm back, ladies. Please. <laughs> Hands and genitals where we can see them. We're looking for a Larry, uh, Lovage. Ah, uh, no, Laffer. Larry Laffer. You're under arrest. Okay, let's get this over with. Name? Larry? <laughs> Larry Laffer. What's uh, your name, sweetie? Anu Singh. I'm your public defender. It's my duty to represent you. Hey! You were at Hell's Pawn earlier, too! We even talked, unfortunately. So, uh, are you doing anything later? Yes. Duty, you should consider it an honor to defend me. You're welcome to call your own lawyer, if you have one. Ah. Uh, That's what I thought. What am I being accused of? It's a pretty stiff list. Hmm. <laughs> Sexual harassment of a gargoyle. It was dark and I've been drinking. 
poisoning of an internet personality. Witch hunt. Manipulation of a gambling machine with the help of an illegal rodent. The bit with the cheese condom is missing. Insulting an elderly lady. Which one exactly? There were a few. Illegal bill posting. Let's make our village more beautiful. Acting as a private investigator without a license? The only license I have is the license to flirt, baby. Faking the qualification as an internet technician. Don't worry. I still don't know a damn thing about it. Creating a rift in the space-time continuum by ignoring the canon of the predecessors. It was dark and... <sighs> okay, I'll admit to that. That should do for now. Can I go now? I'm waiting for my relief, who will then take care of your case. I have much more important things to do at the moment. If someone posts the outrageously high bail, you may of course leave. But until then, you better stay quiet. Hey, cellmate. Hi there, pretty lady. Oh, well, hello, handsome. I adore your outfit. Finally, someone who understands men's fashion. Oh, you have absolutely no idea, sweetheart. I really am innocent. Really? How insanely boring. So, uh, you're more into bad boys? <laughs> Not exclusively, darling. Bad girls, too. <laughs> What did you do? Hello! I'm waiting for my cavity search here! Why so loud? Because that hot-ass bitch in uniform is hard of hearing. Did you know he's by far the most handsome man in town? So, it could be a while. Meanwhile, just sit your sweet self down and make yourself comfortable with me. You set that up? Looks a little flamboyant. <laughs> Looks like it's not just your fashion sense that's out of date, sweet cheeks. Nowadays, people like you and I have finally become very much part of society. Wait a minute. Did you think maybe I was... Kiddo, don't worry. Your secret is as safe with Brother Tuck as the Blessed Mary's virginity in a stable full of angels. I am not gay. Of course you're not! And there's no way my dick is taped up my backside, either! You have a dick! That's not something you ask a lady. I'm really confused. Where's all my stuff? You can't get to it, dearie. It's all locked up in the evidence locker. But your Pi phone is still on the safe. They still have to process it. There has to be some way to get it. If you're that skilled with your hands, then you just might be a hot candidate for my overdue cavity search. You really seem to be looking forward to it. I just love being touched everywhere by a strong man's hands. Besides, I have another surprise hidden inside me. I have to ask. Any idea how we get out of here? I'm sure I'll think of something. But does it look like I want to get out of here? But if I help you get your cavity search, will you help me escape? Hallelujah! That is music to my ears. Why don't they want to examine you? Oh, that's what I've been asking myself all along. It's been three days since my last cavity search. Wait a minute. You let yourself get locked up on purpose? A drag queen's gotta do what a drag queen's gotta do. Drag queen? Like in the cocky horror picture show? Fancy a little time warp? Not again. Quiet, you two! We're all have to come in there. There's your answer. We'll need to find something loud enough to really piss him off. That 
smells extreme. I tried to create my own perfume, you know. Golden rain. Sad to say, it didn't turn out the way I planned. You can have that disgusting stuff. Is that advertising the singer or the mascara? No one knows. Don't touch it. She is holy. You just worship her. Nothing more. A plunger without a handle. Probably used to reject all the release applications. I could reach it, but I don't have a stamp. Amazing how quickly you begin to miss such an annoying thing when you can't reach it. Somewhere behind it is the police officer. Hello? You? Nobody's answering. I guess we're not loud enough. Light shining in from outside. That leads outside to think that one day I'd be looking at the world through bars. There's a whistle lying there. Someone lost a whistle in front of the police station. I bet that one's really loud. A totally hand-free suction cup. That smells extreme. Let's see if this is loud enough. Hey, what's all the noise? My cellmate insists on a cavity search. So true. I've been waiting for it the whole time. What, you back again? How? I'm not gonna do that anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you two can just take care of that on your own. It wasn't me. I saw the Instacrap story, too. Uh, I just wanted to be sure. I want to talk to my lawyer again. She has more important things to do. So do I. Oh, nothing. Makes for a nice atmosphere. Hey, I spent a lot of time and effort decorating the place. Don't worry, I'm only borrowing this for a little while. Hey, cellmate. Then I'll search you. So do try a little harder, won't you, baby cakes? Um. <clears throat> You have the right to remain silent, and, um, everything you ask can and will be twisted and used in a poem. Well, I've had worse dates. Why, officer, is that your nightstick, or are you just happy to see me? How do you open that? Careful. That's only attached using a hot glue gun. That's pretty big. Oh, you scoundrel! I'm a virgin. Hey, me too. My, it's my zodiac sign. You have cold hands and so wet and... What is that? <laughs> oh, me, oh my. How on earth did that ever get in there? Okay, I need to wash my hands first. I need to take a break. Oh, and I wish I could forget about all this <laughs> quickly. Long and stiff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I know. Long and limp. A common problem. A 
a cucumber with a suction cup. I could use it to hook something outside the cell. Hello, Pi. How can I help you, Larry? So, did you miss me? Oh. I've got to get out of here somehow. I'm innocent. I'm calling your emergency contact, Richard Ryder. Why is Dick my emergency contact? Did he put himself in when he... Anyway, whatever. Just get me out of here, no matter how. Hello? Do you, by any chance, have experience with cucumbers? Larry? Oh, if you only knew. I'm stuck in a cell here and nobody's helping. Larry, I'm so sorry I stood you up like that. I really owe you. I'll get you out of there. Larry, before you say anything, I want to apologize. What for? I was on a date with you in Hell's Pond, and I was so happy to be there. And I thought I was over Lance, but then, in the dark room, Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Thank you for being so laid back and understanding. That could be because I'm not into men. I beg your pardon? You're here. Then why did we match on Timber? I could have sworn your profile said you were bisexual. Those guys at Prune said chicks dig that stuff. Oh, man. Larry, I like you. So from now on, we're friends without benefits. I think I still owe you a picture. I'll send it over to you. I'm sure it'll help you to find the right girl. Thanks. I'll activate it right away. Oh, and Larry, there was one more thing about Lance. I realized that he's simply the guy for me. Enough for the whole dating scene. But there's something wrong there. He hasn't talked to me since the incident, and he's blocked me everywhere. Could you maybe talk to him for me? Ha! <laughs> Lance is putty in my hands. I'll do it under one condition. You have to give me the highest rating on Timber. I really need that to get my true love. Faith. Um, I would have given you that anyway, but sure, it's a deal. Lance has a problem with publicly acknowledging us and his sexuality. He thinks it would put him at a disadvantage. If only he wouldn't get so wound up about what others think of him. I would so love to make up with him. How can you be so open about it? That was never a problem for me. One day, I just realized that the female body didn't turn me on at all, but the male body definitely did. Then too, icons like Lady Gag or Freddy Quicksilver also helped me be more open about it. So, I just have to show Lance that it's not women's bodies he's into, it's penises. And I have to teach him to believe in these iconic gays. What? That's not really what I meant. I mean, it's not like you can just... Ah, no problem. Consider it done. Not only am I a good lover, but also an excellent matchmaker. Oh, maybe I should have asked someone else. Larry, you have new suggestions on Timber. In GL, one minute, back in business the next. Ladies, Larry Laffer is back. Soon, we will be together, Faith. What? The cop gave me my stuff back, but there's a bunch of it missing. And somehow, I now have things that don't belong to me. A membership card for the gym. Looks like the cop accidentally included it with my other stuff. Larry, what you did in the club? Behind you, a three boob sex doll. Thanks a lot. What? You did us two huge favors. 
Eren's going to make it big, and thanks to her, so are we. I can already see her with Star on Walk of Pain. And that gangbang in the dark room. That's as crazy as it gets. And crazy is good. People have been flocking to the place ever since everyone in the city saw what you did to that gargoyle. Ah, well, <clears throat> great. Anyway, on behalf of management, I'm supposed to give you this little token of our appreciation. A gift certificate. Thank you. Wait a minute. Is it written on skin? Uh, unfortunately, I'm afraid I can't comment on that. Have the police been back? They sure were. Turned the whole place upside down. Screamed everyone. At least you're the only one they put in jail. Yeah, I'm so relieved about that myself. How are things at the club? The police created total chaos. The Fountain of Lube no longer works. It's somehow clogged. You wouldn't happen to have any experience with that kind of thing, would you? I always manage to open clogged holes. Maybe you can do something about this, too. Stay sharp. What was I supposed to talk to Lance about again? You see, Lance thinks there's something wrong with being gay that other people won't respect him anymore. If only he could come to terms with himself, I would so love to make up with him. How can you be so open about it? That was never a problem for me. Then, too, icons like Lady Gag or Freddy Quicksilver also helped me be more open about it. So, I just have to show Lance that it's not women's bodies he's into, it's penises. And I have to teach him to believe in these iconic gays. What? That's not really what I meant. I mean, it's not like you can just... No problem. Consider it done. Not only am I a good lover, but also an excellent matchmaker. <sighs> Maybe I should have asked someone else. New lost wages. Even the bartender uses method acting. Bring me a drink. Naked, not furred. Hmm, nothing's happening. A gift certificate from Hell's Pawn. Looks like it's printed on skin. Oh. There's a bottle of champagne in my pocket. Spooky, but not unpractical. What the? A severed arm? Oh, it's just a rubber fist. The arm is flat. Somehow that looks really familiar. Hey, it's broken. Seems to be blocked. Something is plugging the fountain, and I can't clear it with my bare hands. I could use that to clear it. And it bubbles again. My hands don't need to be lubed, at least not yet. It slipped out of the fountain. It's really slippery.
Sweetiekins, is that you? Do you by any chance know a psychiatrist who specializes in cucumber trauma? What? Have you already eaten them all? Why are you still in there? Oh, if only you knew how tiny Mikasa is. You'd certainly understand why I prefer to get my beauty sleep here. You'd rather sleep in jail than in your apartment. Sugar, the rents in new lost wages are higher than my heels. Seeing as how you're in here, maybe I could use your apartment for, well, you know. Never. I'm subletting it at a profit right now. Mm-hmm. How do you manage to keep sneaking back in there? Have you ever heard of the secret passageways? You mean the part of your body where I found your cucumber? No. I'm talking about a confusing system of tunnels right under new lost wages. Allegedly, the founders used it to transport all kinds of goods. As you can imagine, during the Prohibition, it was extremely popular. But towards the end of the 20th century, it fell into obscurity and was allegedly used only to transport laundry for ironing. Underground tunnel system? Sounds complicated. I'll give you my note so you don't get lost, Pumpkin. All you have to do is find an entrance and then follow my instructions. <laughs> 